what? Oh, y'all. These look familiar. This one doesn't have a key. So these are, uh, these are what? Five space, four depth, five space, four depth. The depths on the wafers are marked 00224466, or is it, uh, whatever, four depths. And, uh, and uh, yeah, you, you, could, you could probably, I don't know, we might, if we have time, we could, we could see what happens when we pull that out. Uh, LPP has a similar one of these that he was working on, so I figured, hey, I, had, I showed these during live. Uh, and, and I meant to actually look at these prior to uh, him doing that, but it, it, it looks like it'll come apart. I don't know. I, I missed, I missed any part about him saying it would come apart, but let's, let's do an impression. Let's, let's impression it since I make it look so easy. It's a national. So we're going to go RO3. I wonder if this 413 fits this one. I don't know. Hold on. Hold this. Hold, you hold right there. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 413, 413 does not fit, okay, go back, go back on the wall, okay, that was, that was just crap, uh, I need a tripod, and I need to, uh, turn on the jet engine, ah, redundant backup, right there. Right, so, so knife edge, we're gonna knife edge if that means we're gonna put a put our edge. See on one side of it. It's good. It's just cut. Technically it's good, like a chisel edge. If this was a knife blank, this would be a chisel edge. Uh, and, and you can go either side. It really depends on which way it turns. Uh, which we'll look at. Oh, we got another one of these. What is this? This, uh, this is unlocked. And that's unlocked. So it turns Turns to the left, but you know, you don't know that. You don't know that for sure while you're working on one. So we're just gonna clamp it up and try it. First order of business is look at your blade first. Because uh, with sucky belt grinders or, or sanders or whatever, sometimes you're gonna have marks already, like already there. So if we look at, look at see right, see that little spot right there? Like that may fool me into thinking it's a mark. It's gonna, it's gonna fool me thinking that, that that is where I'm supposed to cut, but in reality it wasn't. And then right there, I kind of left it just a little. I left a little flat spot up there. It was accidental. I'm not gonna worry about that. But if you take your time, and, and also when you're grinding, be careful of the shoulder there. Uh, so we're gonna get a pair of vice whatever things here. Let's clamp, clamp. And, uh, and just go to town. So I'm gonna stick it in the hole, boom. And I'm gonna rock it back and forth. Okay. Boom, there we go, the key is made. That is all you have to do to make a key for one of these L handles. <laughs> Oh, have you tried that? No, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he tried that. But what? What? <laughs> that was that was kind of funny. Like it doesn't work with an actual key, <laughs> but it will work with the key blank perfectly too. Look at that. 
Look at that. Beautiful. Hold on. Let's back it out one notch. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So what's going on here is uh, something's going on in the inside. So we're not going to be able to impression it. Oh, let's look at these. We could probably... I mean, that's going to impression pretty quick, too, because it's 2-2-2 two, 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 and then 4. Uh, let's just go ahead and take it apart since he has not had any luck impressioning and ending, ending, ending it. Uh, so we've got this, uh, I don't know if this is the same or not, but let's just squeeze this bad boy out. Mm, come on. So this turned into a disassembly instead of a, oh yeah, that sucker's, uh, so that sucker's in there pretty well. I don't know if they bend it. Sometimes they bend these just a bit. Hey. hey. Sorry about that. I had a customer come in. So, I don't know if it's because this is, it's a pretty stout. Oh yeah, that's a stout spring. Uh, but sometimes it's got a little bend in it just to keep it from coming out. I don't know, let's see. Ah, oh yeah, that one's a, that one's a toughie. I don't know if it's because of the spring or not, but now, you could probably use a, I don't know, that's a pretty dang stout spring, so you could probably use a clamp or something. But, uh, 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 come on out, come on out. Mm, okay, come on out, come on out. All right, you don't want to deform that pen too much, so I'm actually going to ease it through the rest of the way with uh, a pen punch. Let me go grab one, though. Care, I've got, I've got two of them. Is that one? That one's about all right. Yep, and use our hammer. Use our hammer to punch it the rest of the way through, maybe. Oh, it turned on me. I forgot about that. I'm trying to do this freehand uh, instead of just using the vise, but let's, let's see if I can get that to, if I can recess it a little bit, we can get it the rest of the way out. Oh, it is not wanting to go, is it? Okay, well, it's your handy dandy, handy dandy thing here. That is not gonna work at all, is it? Awkward, awkward, very awkward. Uh, so I'll just use this, this flat spot right here. Uh, and maybe prop it up like this. Yeah, there we go. There we go, so that, that's not resting uh, directly where I'm going to be hitting. I guess I'll use a hammer. Jeez. There she goes. There she goes. Almost all the way out. I'm actually going to go ahead and use this opportunity. Hey, use this opportunity. To uh, retumble it, we're gonna retumble that because obviously that's not that's not a great solution. Okay, come off. You gonna come off? Okay, maybe you come off. Something's gotta come off. Yep, there we go. And uh, then then does this come off? So we're gonna figure out why that is not coming. Off. Ah, I see. I see the little retainer down there. That's keeping that keeping that in there so we are probably gonna have to turn the core it's in the locked position we'll turn it to unlocked and uh it comes out oh look at that so beautiful totally sealed together there is seemingly no way to get that guy uh-oh, I just dropped something. Something just fell. Hold on. 
So if you were to discover that you flipped it upside down and the part that holds the core in fell out at your feet and disappeared into nothingness as parts like this are wont to do. That part is what holds in, drops into the channel right there. Uh, and then when, when it's in, when it's in this, it's, it's pretty much protected from coming out. Pretty easy fix for that. We'll do that in just a second. But uh, at that point, carefully dump the retainer in your hand. Pull your core out. And we can see why this one worked as well as it did. And that's because there's only three now. Look, so we could have... We could have six wafers in this guy so beware of that it could actually be uh typically it's not like all the other ones i have are or uh hey get out of there what the heck all the other ones i have are five this one could be oh get out of there get out of there could be a six Yes, that does stab into your hand something fierce when you're doing that. So there we go. And what do we have there? We have a, uh, we have, I don't even know what depth wafers those are. But we're gonna key it to something different. So let me go find the key. Uh, okay, this is gonna be a little bit abnormal, but I'm actually gonna use the uh, the Master King kit because, because I, the other kit that I have for non-master keyed uh, locks like this, uh, it's in my truck and it's it's rainy outside and I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna wanna. So, let's move this up a little bit. With master wafers, instead of zero, zero, instead of zero, zero, it's zero, two, zero, four, zero, six, two, zero, two, four, two, six. So zero equals one, two equals two, four equals three, and six equals confusing as hell right uh, number one is the master that's why I wrote my own notes the first number is your master key the second number is your change key we're just gonna use the second number to go by so two would be two four the oh four would be uh, three so that'd be two three if we loaded this correctly uh, which you do have to do to make sure the key comes in and out correctly. I need a pair of tweezers. There's one right here. Let's go ahead and load up our other two springs that are missing. There we go. Um, so I'm going to put a, let's put a four, six, four, six in the first position. Is that right? Yep. So four, six in the first position. So that's gonna make that a uh, six is a four cut. That's gonna put a nice deep four cut right there in the front. And then we'll go, we'll go like four two. How about that? Four two. Now, yeah, this is gonna introduce two keys into it. But, yeah, I mean, this is really probably, these have been in my shop for 20 years and I've never sold one now. So, oh shit, I forgot which way for I grabbed. Uh, how about, what was that last one too? So we had four, two, and then uh, let's go and go O for that next one, which is a zero cut. Yep. It doesn't matter because I'm going to pretend like we were doing it the other way. And then we'll go four for the next one. How about that? Yep. And then uh, we'll do another six. I don't, I don't even know what bidding that is, but we'll find out. So snap them all into place ah, 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 ah. make sure they all pop up and down like that try your key in it uh, correct so there we go now we can just read it because it's in our hand uh, so if it's level you remember it's level it was a it's a zero cut there so that's a one one or zero whatever you want to call it down so we have uh, and then this one up here is a nice stagger. It shows you, as long as they're not all equal, but you can tell since this is not high enough, that's, that's that. And then we've got 
Then we got one a little bit higher there, and then we have this guy over here, the highest, highest on the end, and then a three. So we're gonna read that as four, two, one, three, four. Four, two, one, three, four. Uh, if you if that's what you want to consider it now, we have the problem of <laughs> Now we have the problem of this guy because it just it just falls out So if you were a dumbass and did that come over to your pen and kit And get all the stuff out of the way that you stacked on it during live while you're throwing locks And what we are looking for is a pair of tweezers again Jason and what the heck? Need a pair of tweezers. We're gonna come over here, and uh, we're gonna find a master pin that sits in there perfectly. Let's see if this does. No, that's a little. That's a little. Oh, my power blinked. Uh oh, that's a little shallow. So I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. Uh, one eleven. We'll just say one twenty-three. How about that? Yeah, that's good. That's good. We're going to make sure it drop down in there. Our cord's good. And go back over here. And put that in. Yay. Uh, we do need to put this guy on. I got to remember. Can you, I can't even remember how I had it. How I had it on. So is that right? Uh, I think that's, I think, am I, is that backwards from how it was? Yeah, it was, hold up, hold up, I see what I did. This, this goes, there we go, so, quarter turn, quarter turn, doop, 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 that's right. And uh, it may be upside down, I don't know, let's see. Did I put, did Jason put that back on correctly? Unlocked, unlocked. Uh, no, Jason did not put that back on correctly. What, what difference does it make? It turns that way. And that turns, it turns that way. And that turns that way. It doesn't, doesn't really matter, does it? Nope, doesn't matter which way, I don't think. Uh, laws of physics so now we've got the impressive problem of trying to get this guy back in here oh you can you can do it all right we did it spread your jaws wide and crunch this bad boy through but obviously we have to press down on that spring to get it the rest of the way through A little bit awkward to do. We could always uh, come in here with like maybe another spring. Actually, it hadn't even it hadn't even gotten all the way through yet, so we'll just uh, continue pushing. Uh. Yep, that spring's hard to overcome. Squeeze these closed just a bit more. We should be, we should be breaching our ugly head here. Yep. So that's okay. And I'll push down. Again, just a little, ah, a little awkward to do. There we go. And uh, now, I went ahead and this is kind of a weird cut in the video, but yes, that's how you take it apart and put it back together. Quick video to, to show you how to take it apart and put it back together. I was gonna do an impressioning video. However, those keys that I chose, those, those wafers that I chose, the four 
2014. When you, when you have those, the blank key doesn't go in very well. And as I did the impressioning video, it just wasn't, it wasn't working out. I mean, it was working out for a horrible impressioning video, but, uh, and sometimes that's just what you run across. But at the same time, the point was, is we got the lock apart. And, and put it back together. So yes, they do come apart. They do go back together. Just a little bit of fight with the spring, a little bit of fight getting the roll pin out. Uh, maybe a little blood, but no big deal there. Anyway, to impression, I'm gonna, I know some guys have a lot of trouble with impressioning. Uh, and, and it's hard, you know, if I sit and focus, like I can't focus on that right now because I'm focusing on other styles of videos. But I'll make a promise to y'all that I will try my best to do some impressioning videos where I do some high, higher higher like magnified to show these marks because the marks the marks are the problem marks marks is always a problem right no the marks in the key uh just disappearing all of a sudden is one of the biggest problems with people have with impressioning so not right now but stay tuned i'll try to hold my promise i know i've promised a couple of things in the past to do future videos and i've never done them but that's uh it's, it's just too many videos going on. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. If you have any questions or comments, as always, post them in the comment section. We'll catch y'all next video.